What's up guys, Inspect the Gadget here, and today I'm going to show you Inspect the Gadget's top 15 favorite apps for the Nexus 7 tablet. So, let's get inspected. Okay, so I just want to give a shout out to subscriber 1FDO82465 in Colombia for suggesting I make this video. Now, these are my top 15 Nexus 7 apps. Now, number 15 is Pocket Band, which is a neat little app that allows you to do multi-track recording. Now, one of the things my subscribers may not know about me is that I was a professional music producer and worked with famous artists like Lady Gaga, Akon, Lloyd, Mario, and a host of others. And every now and again, I'll get an idea and may just want to put it down and record it, but I'm not at home with all of my professional studio equipment. So, with this app, I can do beats, vocals, instruments, and, and it even gives you EQ and panning options. So, if you're a music producer, artist, or just like to have fun with music, check out the link below uh, for the demo version of Pocket Band for your music fix. Now, app number 14 is Directory Bind. Now, Directory Bind is dope because it fools your Nexus 7 into thinking external storage devices are internal memory by binding directories. Now, this allows you to store huge game files like Nova 3 or Asphalt 7 on a thumb drive or home network and play them on your Nexus 7. Now, I have a link in the description bar to one of my videos showing you how to use directory bind. Now, at number 13 is Google Wallet. Now, with NFC built into the Nexus 7, Google Wallet allows you to store all of your debit and credit cards in the app and simply use your device to make purchases. Now, with a free 10 bucks from Google just for signing up and more and more merchants using MasterCard PayPass, which is the service that uh, Google now uses to make the transactions, Google Wallet is a must-have app for Nexus 7 owners on the go. Number 12, Root Explorer. Now, being a pure Google Android tablet, the Nexus 7 has attracted many techies and tinkerers who want to install custom ROMs, custom kernels, overclock, and optimize their tablet. Now, Root Explorer allows users with root access to do just that. Now, for those who aren't rooted, you know, but you want to do the occasional side loading of apps or just want a more organized view of everything on your device, an alternative would be File Expert. Now, I'm going to bundle 9, 10, and 11 together since they're all travel apps with some different and some overlapping features. Now, number 11 is Gate Guru, which allows you to find food options in hundreds of airports around the globe, complete with reviews and ratings. Now, it also shows you where shops and services like ATMs, shoe shine services, and charging stations are located. Now, a great companion to Gate Guru is the unrelated Seat Guru app, and that comes in at number 10. Now, not only can you find great prices for flights from multiple airlines with Seat Guru, but you can also see a map of the available seats on the plane color-coded to show the most comfortable selections. This is the defining feature of Seat Guru. Links are down below. However, number nine on our list puts Seat Guru and Gate Guru to shame with its list of features. Kayak allows you to search and book flights, hotels, and rental cars, and even gives you price alerts and uh, tracks flights for you, and does all of this with a very simple, easy-to-use interface. Kayak is one of the most comprehensive options for travelers. Check out the link down below. Now, coming in at number eight is an app called Play On. Now, Play On allows you to watch tons of TV shows or movies and will even connect to services you have a subscription to, like Amazon Video On Demand or HBO Go, Hulu, and Netflix. Now, this came in handy when I bought my Nexus 7 and realized Amazon didn't have an app for watching my Prime content on Android. Check out the link below for Play On. Now, number seven is Netflix. Now, although I can access my Netflix account from the Play On app, the Netflix app has a better user interface and allows you to queue your uh, shows and movies for later viewing. And for $7.99 a month, you can watch content on your computer, HDTV, smartphone, and all of the popular uh, gaming consoles. The links down below. Now, flashing in at number six is, you guessed it, Dolphin Browser. Now, although the native Chrome mobile browser is great, it lacks an important feature. Adobe Flash support. Now, the latest Dolphin browser doesn't support Flash either, but if you can get your hands on an earlier version and the Adobe Flash APK, you're home free. And of course, I have a link down below to my video showing you exactly what you need to do to get Dolphin browser with Adobe Flash working on your Nexus 7. Now, speaking of Adobe, touching down at number five is Adobe Photoshop Touch. Now, this app is undoubtedly the best photo editing app 
on Android. Not only can you do the regular stuff like cropping and resizing and you know adjusting color saturation and contrast, but you can do a lot of what you can do with the professional CS suite right from your tablet. Things like adding multiple layers to cut out portions of the photo, changing the backgrounds, applying various blurs to achieve depth of field effects. I mean, this is easily the coolest photo app ever. Now, the only problem is it's not available in the Google Play Store for the Nexus 7. However, if you have a 10-inch tablet, you can download it from the Google Play Store and sideload it to your Nexus 7. The app costs $9.99 in the Play Store. Go ahead and check out the links below. Now, notably, number four is Evernote which essentially allows you to take notes of your life. Now you can get out all your ideas by typing or using the speech to text function or you can record audio or snap a photo of those memorable moments. Now you can even attach a video or documents to your notes. The possibilities are Evernote. <laughs> so check out the links downtown. Yakking in at number three is Talkatone. Now I didn't think that I would use this much, but when I'm on my Nexus 7 and someone calls my Google Voice number, I can answer it right from my tablet and it automatically uses the speakerphone. It also syncs all of your contacts automatically and you can send and receive text messages all for free over Wi-Fi. The link to the tablet talking talkatone is down below. Number two, Android Voice Extreme or AVX is the best virtual assistant on the market on any platform. It annihilates Siri and even has the capability to perform some of Google Now's functions. From controlling the lights and thermostat in your home to reading your Facebook and Twitter feeds to keeping track of your expenses, AVX does it all and would be the number one app on this list if it was faster, had a better interface, was easier to use, and didn't get annoying at times. But check out my video on AVX in the link down below. And coming in at number one is Google Now and Google Voice Search. Now, I've lumped these in together because, uh, frankly, they should be lumped in together. Most people just call them both Google Now collectively. So now, Google Now is just so amazing because it uses your location data and previous search history to make suggestions for you depending on time of day and location. I mean, you can be out somewhere and it'll automatically suggest restaurants. You can take a look at the restaurants and get reviews and ratings. And coupled with Google Voice Search, it's just a phenomenal app. So, that's about it, guys. That's it for me. I'm Inspect the Gadget. You can follow me on Twitter at Inspect the Gadget. Also, circle me on Google Plus at Inspect the Gadget. And guys, hit that like button if you like this video. And also, if you want the latest and greatest in tech news and reviews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the end of this video. I'm Inspect the Gadget, and I will see you on the other side. Peace.